Welcome to the Notre Dame School announcements for this week of January 8th. Happy New Year! Hi, this is Miss Nancy. Cheerleaders will be performing at the Jesuit Preparatorial School this coming Friday. Game starts at 7.30. I think the girls need to be there at 7. So be there and let's cheer on this awesome team. Thanks. Bye. Guys, I want to tell you about some Notre Dame sporting events coming up on January 13th. We've got the Big Ursula Breakfast and Basketball Clinic. And on the 13th as well, the Stars basketball team is going to be in Mesquite. Big basketball tournament game. Check it out, 4.30 and 6.30. Big sporting events coming up. Go NDS. February 25th is the open house at Notre Dame School. If you know somebody that, that desperately needs the Notre Dame School, give them a shout out. Tell them January 25th is when they can take a tour of the school and get to see all the amazing things that we do here. No limits, just possibilities. Everybody, I want to tell you about a very exciting opportunity. The world-famous Notre Dame cheerleaders are going to be performing at the Allen Americans Hockey Game January 27th. You do not want to miss this. It's also Star Wars Night at the game, so you're going to see Darth Vader. You're going to see Chewbacca. You're going to see all the Stormtroopers. You're going to see Luke and Leia, and all your Star Wars characters are going to be there. Proceeds from the tickets sold are going to the Notre Dame School world-famous cheerleaders. They're for the summer trip. So make sure you buy tickets at the link below. You don't want to miss this January 27th Allen Americans Hockey Game. World famous Notre Dame cheerleaders, be there. Good morning. On January 15th, we'll be celebrating the life of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. We'd like to share a few details about his life. Martin Luther King Jr. didn't just become the leader of the civil rights movement. He helped to start it. In response to Rosa Parks' re famous refusal to give up her seat on a bus for a white passenger, King led the black community in Montgomery, Alabama in the first nonviolent civil rights demonstration in the United States in 1955. Their bus boycott, boycott lasted for 382 days. That's more than a year of finding another way to get to work until the United States Supreme Court ruled that the laws segregating buses were unconstitutional. In his efforts to fight segregation and inequality, King traveled more than 6 million miles and spoke more than 2,500 times. As he noted in his famous letter from a Birmingham jail, King served as president of the Southern Christian Leadership Conference, which had more than 80 affiliated organizations throughout the South. Why not just telephone? instead of constantly being on the road. I cannot sit idly by in Atlanta and not be concerned about what's happened in Birmingham. King wrote, injustice anywhere is a threat to justice everywhere. He was a preacher, an orator, a community organizer, and a dad. Martin Luther King Jr. and his wife, Coretta Scott King, had four children, Yolanda, Martin, Dexter, and Bernice. He gave them a beautiful shout out in his famous I Have a Dream speech. I have a dream my four little children will one day live in a nation where they will not be judged by the color of their skin, but by the content of their character. Martin Luther King Jr. is the only non-president with a national holiday in his honor. Since Martin Luther King Jr. Day is a federal holiday, you have off from school. So think about volunteering or helping out together in Martin Luther King's honor. Have a great week.